I see movement in the front yard. In case you didn't hear me the first time, there was movement in the front yard. Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome to my video. And in today's video tutorial, we are going to use a microcontroller to visit a link which will then trigger an Alexa routine. And with that routine, you can either make Alexa say something or you can turn on and off other devices. So I created this website called littlenotes.com. It allows you to link the littlenotes.com skill with your Alexa app. Once you've linked the skill, you have a couple of buttons and uh, the, the, it gives you like the web URL and things that you can visit so that you're able to trigger the routines. So I'm going to quickly take you through this. Um, obviously you have to sign up and I'm not going to take you through the sign up process but it's pretty much as simple. It's the same as signing up with any other websites. You enter your email address, password, confirmation password, the capture code and you sign up. Sometimes the activation link that, uh, that gets uh, sent to your email box uh, lands up in your spam so just kind of be on the lookout for that. So I'm not sure, I'm still working on that. But uh, so I'm just going to go ahead straight into the sign in section. I'm going to sign in and then you'll have three buttons over here. We just go to your Alexa virtual buttons and when you start this up for the first time you'll have one button. I already have this button linked to my front gate so whenever somebody walks past my front gate the PR sensor will pick it up and it will then trigger an Alexa routine that says something like I see movement at the front gate. But uh, for this tutorial I'm just going to go to edit buttons and I'm going to add one. So you'll have five of these buttons so I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to say enable. By the way you can uh, disable all of the buttons except for the first one. This is just for user experience purposes so that Alexa is always able to detect at least one button. So once we've enabled it, we can give it a name. You can just go back to edit buttons, scroll to the enable button and you can type something like you to test. Uh, I did something wrong here. You YouTube test. Okay, there we go. So we just say updates and now our button will have a name. So you'll see there it says YouTube tests and the test trigger. So whenever you press this button it will trigger Alexa. Of course this will not work if you haven't linked your littlenotes.com account with your Alexa skill. So if you read these instructions it pretty much tells you what to do. But just to give you a quick uh, um, guide, so you just go to your Amazon Alexa, you can just use the web front end and you can search for little notes little notes enter you'll find it over here you can click on it and of course mine is enabled at the moment so you'll just enable it it'll take you to a sign-in page where you enter your littlenotes.com uh, credentials the email address and uh, password once it's linked then everything should be working um, after you've linked it it should already pick up the devices because it does an initial scan when you first enable it but if it doesn't you can just say Alexa scan for devices and it will pick up all of the buttons which you've enabled if you add remove buttons then you have to ask Alexa to scan for devices again so that it can update her list of workable buttons. So once you've got this you can test trigger it by just simply pressing this button. It will come up with a message saying uh, trigger send success. If Alexa wasn't triggered make sure Alexa discovered all devices and that you have created a routine for this button. So of course I don't have a routine set up for this so this leads to nowhere. Alexa recognizes this but she's not doing anything with it because I haven't set up a routine. Um, you can say show API URL by clicking that link and then if you click copy, it'll copy it to memory and you can just simply paste this into your browser and it will trigger the Alexa routine. Now obviously you cannot share this link with anybody because they will then be able to trigger your Alexa routines if they know your email address and API key. So this is just a test so I'm going to change this after this tutorial. Right, so now being able to just simply visiting a link and trigger Alexa routines opens up a whole world of possibilities because you can now 
use this to do various things. So let's say you've got a, a website and somebody makes a payment and you can then use this link by visiting it after the payment's done and Alexa will notify you that somebody has made payments. So that's, that's really cool. And uh, of course I am using this to trigger PIR sensors as said before. Okay, so once um, you've uh, linked your Amazon skill and everything, uh, you can set up a routine. You can just go to the Alexa app. So I'm just going to go there quickly. So Amazon Alexa. It opens up the screen. And you can go to, I think you go to devices. I haven't done this in a while. So you can click the menu. Go to routines. So add routine. When this happens, um, it will be under device and then you'll see your little notes button. So I'll just use this button. So save. When this button is pressed, you can say add action and you can say Alexa says, customize, and you can say test button pressed. Next, add, save. And it's done. So then, then everything should work. You can just go to littlenotes.com website and you can just press one of the test buttons to see if it actually works before fiddling with the actual ESP8266. And if you go back to documentation on the littlenotes.com website, there's two tutorials which you can use. So for this purpose, um, I'll show you the integration with PHP. So if you had to do this after any sort of events, of le as mentioned before, let's say you had payments uh, on your website for something, and if you had to add this piece of code, it will visit this link in the back end and Alexa will be triggered. I actually use this on littlenotes.com whenever somebody's registered. Uh, I'll get a message something like uh, the Alexa says uh, you have a new subscriber on littlenotes.com. So the more you guys subscribe the more notifications I get. And um, so here's, here's an example for the ESP8266. So all you have to do is you just simply highlight all of the code, you copy it, Go into the Arduino IDE, start a new sketch, make sure you've got all the ESP8266 libraries and things installed. Um, this particular sketch does not make use of any special um, libraries, so if you have the bare metal ESP8266 board installed, this, this should work. So we basically paste it, then all that's left to do is to enter your SSID to where the ESP8266 will connect to and the password. And then obviously this access point must have internet access because it's going to visit this link. So this is just an example link. So if you go back to littlenotes.com and you go to virtual buttons and you go to show API URL, you can copy it like that. Or you can simply just click the copy button. Then you can go over here and you take out whatever's in there and you paste that and then you can start uploading your sketch. If you've done this, the ESP8266 will start up, it will connect to this website and then immediately it will go into deep sleep mode. The reason for that is to conserve power so that it does not eat up the device power because the, so the PIR sensors that I'm using has got a little solar panel and 18650 battery. Uh, an LED and a PIR sensor. So whenever the PIR is triggered it turns on the LED and the power it sends to the LED happens to be the same voltage required for the ESP8266 which is 3.3 volts um, in order to turn it on. So once it turns on it connects, triggers Alexa and then immediately turns off and then a few seconds later the LED is turned off. So whenever this device is idling and nothing's happening, it's not actually using power because it's not getting any power from the PIR sensor, which is kind of cool. I've been using this for about two months now, and uh, the cheap uh, PIR sensor which I bought from my local Oriental Chinese store um, has been working ever since. So this is what the actual PIR sensor looks like. Um, on the top it's got a, a solar panel, it's got this PIR sensor which turns on this LED and I'm connecting the ESP8266 in parallel with this LED. 
Um, so whenever this uh, PR sensor detects movement, the circuit board inside then turns on the LED, which obviously then also turns on the ESP8266, which then connects to the website and then simply turns off again. So I already opened this for you so you can see what's on the inside. So as you can see over here, we've got the 18650 battery and I'm connecting the ESP8266 to those two wires over here, to these two wires, so that um, it gets power. So whenever there's movement, it will send 3 volts to this two wires over here, and that's connected to the ESP8266. And um, let me just put this back together again, and then I'll show you how it works. For them. Okay, so I'm in my bedroom now. Um, there's the actual device, and here's the Amazon Echo. I have an Amazon Echo in my bedroom and one in my living room. So whenever this is triggered, both Echoes actually let you know, um, know that uh, it detected movement. So I'm going to trigger it, just moving my hand over. And then a few seconds later, Alexa will trigger. I see movement in the front yard. In case you didn't hear me the first time, there was movement in the front yard. And the LED will still continue to be on for a short while. And then it will go off. By now, the ESP8266 actually turned off. So it's not um, eating that much power. So we can do it one more time. So I make some movements. And the echo will be triggered. I see movement in the front yard. In case you didn't hear me the first time, there was movement in the front yard. So, so there's a slight delay, maybe about three seconds or so, um, but it's, it's not too bad. It, it so gives you an early warning. Um, but uh, that's just because the ESP8266 has to start up, connect to the Wi-Fi, visit the link, and then go and then shut down. But if you had to do this uh, with a web link, it'll be almost inst instant. Um, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like and subscribe button. And um, let me know if you built this. I'm quite interested to see what people come up with this.